Now to the race for a vaccine. Tomorrow, the FDA's Independent Advisory Committee is going to be talking about the vaccines and whether or not to approve Pfizer's vaccine for emergency use. Scientists say the vaccine can be up to 95% effective after two doses. And this chart, tracking COVID infections, tells the story. The red line is the placebo group. The blue line is people who receive the vaccine. Just eight vaccine recipients were infected during the trials. In the UK, health regulators are now warning people who have a history of allergic reactions to not get the vaccine right now. Yeah, this comes after two healthcare workers came down with symptoms after receiving a shot the day before. In a statement, Pfizer says there are, quote, no serious safety concerns over the vaccine. CDC typically advises telling a provider if you have any severe life threatening allergies before taking any vaccine. Well, tonight we are taking a look at what it would mean for the average American to get a coronavirus vaccine shot at their neighborhood pharmacy, say a Walgreens or CVS. CBS 12's Denise Sawyer has what you need to know about scheduling a vaccine appointment. Now, according to Walgreens and CVS, they say as soon as February is when folks can come to their local pharmacies to get vaccinated. Now, they say the process would be similar to getting a flu shot. We're ready to go with CVS, so we think we've made a very easy, seamless experience. Representatives from the two major pharmacies break down the scheduling process. Easy to schedule a vaccination. So when it comes time for you to get a COVID-19 vaccine. Consumer will go onto our website. They'll pick a store that's convenient to them. They'll pick a date that you know works in their schedule and then they'll pick a, a time. Now when they make that first appointment, they're also gonna make their second appointment because getting the second dose we feel is critical and it needs to be done within a, a certain time frame. And when you get your first shot, you'll be given a reminder about when you're supposed to get the second. And if you miss your appointment, you'll get a call to make a new one. Now, for those of you who are worried about the long lines, pharmacies will only be operating on appointments. They estimate that 25 million shots will be administered each week. In Palm Beach Gardens, I'm Denise Sawyer for CBS 12 News.